Hello and welcome to another episode on the All Command series. I'm going to be going over the boss bar command. This one can be particularly confusing, um, especially when you're trying to get the ball rolling on some adventure maps and whatnot, and you want to be able to display boss bar health because it gets into a lot of kind of weird, complicated commands. But I'm going to break it down. All right, so the first four options here after you do slash boss bar are super easy to understand. Um, so if you want to add a boss bar, we'll just do um, something like this. Swashbuckle craft example, and uh, we need to call it something. So this blue part, that is what the game calls it what the actual when you're actually referencing it later and then this is what's going to display at the top of the screen uh right up right up here all right so i'm just going to call it test um there we go boss bar added test and then if we wanted to remove it we could just as easily remove it just like that we don't need the name there and there you go all right and then if we want a list, there's only one right now, so it's going to show us test. And if we want to get something, information about a certain boss bar, we use the get command. And we can see max with max players value invisible. We're going to, I'm going to explain what all those mean in the next, uh, with the next command here. And uh, you'll see this set command can do a ton of stuff. So... We're just going to focus on that because that's what you're going to be doing most of the time. Uh, color. Well, first, so we can see these changes, we have to make visible true. And then, well, apparently the default is true. And then show it to whatever players you want to display it to. I'm going to display it to myself. But you could just as easily do all players within a certain distance of your boss or something like that. That's your call. All right. We got color here, so we can set that to a few different presets. As you can see, we'll just do blue. Um, and we can set style. That show, that basically changes, you pretty much get to choose how many notches it has. And you can kind of see it changing up there. Or you can choose progress, which is just a smooth bar. This is usually my preference, but it's absolutely your call. And then you can change the name after the fact. You have to use parentheses, uh, sorry, not parentheses, quotation marks, and you, then you can call it uh, whatever you want, just like that. Uh, I already showed you the visible and players command to show for it to show uh, specific people that boss bar. You don't have to show the whole server. Uh, and you can show people within a range and all that sort of a thing. And then these last ones is where it can be a bit confusing. So when you do a boss bar, you don't know, it's not always used for this, but it's implied and it usually is used to track how much health a certain mob has. So you can see with this guy, um, I have to run a certain command to see how much health he has. And you could do this with trial and error. But this is the command that I use. Uh, this is slash data get, and then targeting that zombie, and then it's health. I'm going to get into this command in a later command uh, episode, and you can check to see if I already have that out. But when you run it, you're going to see it has 20 health. So if I go ahead and set the max value of it, uh, of the boss bar, to 20, there we go, and then... I need to set its value to 20. All right, so <clears throat> basically max sets what 100% is. So if I set the value to 10 now, it's at 50% of 20. Uh, and then if I set it to 19, you'll see just its sliver is gone. And then if I set it to 20, there's back to 100%. Anything more doesn't display. So if you find it's not going down properly, maybe your max is off. Now to get it updated, you have to use a kind of confusing command. I'm just going to put it right here so you can see the whole thing. 
Uh, you're gonna do execute store result. Um, it it is a, it's a confusing command, especially if you're kind of new to this kind of a thing. Uh, but all this is doing is it's storing the result of uh, this test. This command here tests how much health the zombie has, and then it stores it as the value of the boss bar. So essentially all this is doing is setting the boss bar's value to uh, the zombie. That's, that's what it's doing. Obviously that's in red because that's not the way you have to run it. But this that's what this is doing. And then I have to change this. Okay. Now that this is running constantly, it should tick down when I hit him. And you can see, I'll go ahead and just take him down. You see if I heal him as well, it'll update. You can see, <laughs> I kind of destroyed that, but it tracked it perfectly. And the boss bar will not go away when it reaches zero. It's just a, a visual thing. You'll have to do a boss bar set visible, uh, sorry, set visible false, and then it'll go away. Okay, that's really all there is to the boss bar command. I hope that was particularly helpful. And uh, like I said, this gives boss bar kind of relies on some more advanced commands, but hopefully what I showed in those command blocks is enough to get you going. Please leave any questions you have in the comments below, and I will see you all in another video.